big, big day. Are you ready? I, I mean, actually, like I, as you can still hear my voice, but like I feel, I feel okay. Like I think, I feel sharp. So I'm, I'm gonna crush today. So it's like 8 a.m. right now, so the final table is not for another six hours, I think? Yeah, exactly. I, I th I'll try to go back to sleep. It's just every single morning I wake up at 7. There's no... Like, even if, if I can go back to sleep after, like, just 7 a.m. I wake up, it's just jet lag right now. But nothing major planned um, before the final table to lead up to? Um, I for sure do a session with Elliot, um, and then we get some breakfast. Um, Oh, I think that's it. Okay, so I have to ask, um, so you usually, do you work out like on trips like that? Because I know you work out at home, but do you have, don't even have the time or you want um, to drain your energy? Actually, that's a good question. I mean, normally we want to go out the first day and then um, somehow we skip that because of me. And then afterwards, I felt like a little, a little ill and didn't sleep well. That's when I just don't do it. Because I, I feel like after I do it, it just playing becomes a lot harder. So uh, when I feel fit, yeah, I, I try to, especially in Aria, the gym is awesome. So um, I I generally try to work out frequently. It just like do, I do something like relaxed because I feel like if you do something too hard, then it just, if you grind 12 hours, it's really costing you too much energy. I noticed yesterday when we had uh, dinner, you were talking constantly about hands with the other Germans. Is yeah. that something you usually do and this is like maybe a recipe for success? I think that's what we used to do. Um, actually, I didn't, I didn't realize, but like it's fun how it's now coming back a little bit because the last couple of experiments, we haven't really done this. It's more like, you know, we, like we're done and then we're like talking about different things, but like now somehow I mean, also because it's such a special occasion now. I mean, we're like four Germans on the final table. It's pretty crazy. Um, but generally, actually, we haven't been talking so much strategy in like the last couple of months, or like the last year maybe. But like before that, it was ten times worse. Like every single hand we played, wrote down, talked about it. Like, um, I think that was. I I mean, I've been talking about this a lot. I think that group, the way like super smart people everyone good in a different area or like slightly different strengths um, when you talk about hands you just get such a good input um do you prepare for a final table like that differently like do you do some research on the players beforehand um i think in this case be earlier i did like really when i didn't really know the people now i feel like there's not much i could learn like i i've played i mean i studied every player like tens of hours like watched all their footage of probably every high roller like they play or like every live footage you can you can see looked at all their online hands they played um and now it's just there's not too much else to study um because most of them just play live and don't play much online anymore and there's like that's it um so i studied i study players really really hard because i i think that that's the huge advantage is like knowing the tendencies of every player. So like, I know exactly, like I know exactly, you know, that person is, um, his tendency is like to fold a little more on the flop, to fold more to delayed C bets, like to, so it's like every player, I, <clears throat> I have these feelings on, or like this intuition on every street and every, in every line, like, okay, this is what he, what he's more likely to do. And uh, yeah, this is this is how I approach how I approach that. So no, for this final table, I know every player really well, so not needed. Yeah, do. Gerne. Schönen Tag dir noch oder Abend. <laughs> Ciao, Lukas. Was? Talk is this on the phone? Talking business on the phone as one startup I invested in in, in Vienna. Just really, really good news. Um, talking to one. One uh, another partner that might come into play. Uh, yeah, great news. So even an hour before a tournament where you could win like five <laughs> five million, you're still talking about no, he, on the phone. He asked me if, if I have uh, some time for a call. So of course, yeah, for sure. Gave him some feedback on what he had to tell me, and uh, 
yeah, it's like a, it's a really cool company, and uh, they do smart lighting, um, and I think their product is amazing. Are you ready? I'm ready. I got a session in with Elliot now. Let's go. I was, I think I was pretty, pretty on point. Like, um, yeah, I did, I did a couple out of line things, which uh, I'm still pretty happy with. I feel like. I feel like I had a good feeling for what the other players were doing, so I, I feel good. Yeah, I've. I mean, I feel good now. Actually, now you know, in the first, the first fifty k playing against Stefan, I was a little bit ah, uh, you know, but now I'm. I play good, and I know that, and I I'm one of the best, so. I. I know what I know how they play, and I think I think I can find an edge. I think the main thing is really to, like, I realize I play the best when I'm just, when I trust. You know, like, I think I see a lot of things that are subconscious and I just have to trust that feeling. And when I, like, when I don't play too much, I sometimes don't trust that intuition, but, like, there's so much information stored. Like, I've, all the hands I've seen them play, like, the way they move, the way they look, all that, and I just have to trust that because I think that's, that's what on top of like my game that's what helps me make really good decisions yeah i'll i'll call you after i won yeah have thanks so much Elliot, for that have a good one bye cheers <laughs> hey let's go you ready you primed yes. Nice. Let's rock and go. It's just like the. It's the. I don't know. It's just like after I'm just like. Okay, let's play the best poker I've ever played for the next ten hours. Let's fucking ship this. The song is so sick. <laughs> no bass though. No bass. <laughs> I get to witness Fedor win a tournament for the first time. Nice. Hype. You ready to go? <laughs> no, no, out of line later, out of line later. Let's fucking go. I chose the life I'm living. Out here trapping in it. Turn the work to bitches. All I think so ripping. I try to get a job, but I didn't get it. So I'm out here getting it. I chose the life I'm living. Gold balls, bad minds. I chose the life I'm living. Gold balls with the rubs. I chose the life I'm living. Probably give him the slight edge, but Christian is also an amazing player, so it's a good to win. Awesome. Let's see this one. That's tough. Yeah. Congrats, I get live. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. I'm I cash 500. That's that's good. That's pretty good. I I'm happy. Like the only thing is we have to get to LA somehow now. That's Missed true. both our flights. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's see if there, we really have to check actually now if there's any other flight, otherwise there's one 6 a.m. tomorrow, and then we have to be there for the interview at like 11, which okay. is going to be a lot of fun, uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what we do now. Alright, so let's check flights. Yeah, let's check flights. Well, thank you for giving us an exciting cover to watch today, and I'm sure we'll be very Did you find a flight? Nope. No. Next flight is in 20 minutes and then there's no other flight tonight. Uh, there is one at 11.50 which takes 13 hours and costs a thousand. We can take that one. Sounds about right. Do you know anybody with a helicopter? I was thinking about that. <laughs> Actually, because if it's I a figure. couple hundred bucks, I might do it. <laughs> oh. Because we're gonna pay. It's just so bad to get there this tomorrow morning. So he's just gonna put it on deposit right now. He's gonna bring this paper back after he gets to throw it out. Just 
this one hand where I was like, two hands actually, one hand where I didn't have time. Yeah. And check raised and it was like, but I, I think it's a fine bluff with it. I guess these two guys, like, they just love calling, so. But uh, the other hand, I had like a hand that I normally always bet, but against him I should have taken more time. Yeah. I think he, like, he gets a lot of tells, like small ones. Yeah. And then I just bet too fast, and then he insta called, and I was like, fuck, why did I? But, yeah. I saw you were thinking about something pretty hard, like at the cashier. What was it? What did you try to figure out? Uh, I have to get money out of here, and I was thinking about how I do it best because. Um, <laughs> this song, man, it's good. Oh, um, this is your song? Yeah. Um, so I was thinking about the cash out um, because I have to wire money out, and the other guys are gonna give me some money. So it does make sense if I fill out mine now and then add money from there. So I was like, okay, I'll do it later. And then there's, but uh, it's gonna be a lot of money wired out. Speaking of a lot of money, you just cashed five hundred thousand. Yes. How much do you tip? Like, do you have a uh, general? I mean, I love, I really, really like Aria, but like generally, I feel like tipping. Mm, I mean, it's hard. To, there's hard to have like a baseline, right? Like. There's a lot of people don't really tip. Um, most of recreationals tip. It's like when you're when you're regular, it's hard like to constantly tip. Then you lose a lot of your ROI. Like you just lose a lot of your your winnings, and that's 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 a big issue. Is if you tip, you know, one percent or two percent of your winnings, like it's gonna reduce your your win rate a lot. So it's this middle thing of like now at Aria, I mostly tip when I win something, but it's more like a, a smaller amount. So it's this kind of it feels, you know, like you're, it feels kind of bad in terms of like, oh, I would like to tip more, but then also it's like, I'm kind of, I play this professionally, so, you know, where's, um, and, and then the other thing is like, where does it go? That's mainly the thing, you know, if I feel like I could, I could give it to the dealer's hand, I would like to do that, because the dealers today were actually really, really good, generally, like, no mistakes, super fast, done it really well, so that's why I tip something. An eight hundred dollar Uber XL to LA. Yeah, nice. I mean, I'm serious. We might have to, we might have to do something like tonight. Let me see. It's a one K Uber Select. How does Rich not have like a helicopter? Rich? Yeah. He's got Jet Smarter. What is that? It's like a private jet membership. Yeah, is that the, yeah, but I don't, I mean, I don't think they do it like this. It's more like a hop-on kind of thing. I don't yeah, think. you need to fit their schedule. Yeah, it's more like... It's not like, a, yeah, you don't have a private jet on, on speed on dial. Demand. On speed dial. Swearing. <laughs> Time to go to L and A. Okay, so we're on the airport leaving Las Vegas. What was your recap? Uh, recap was it was an insane trip. A uh, lot of poker, illness, no sleep, partying. Um, actually, like I'm, I'm, I haven't been like partying at all lately. Like. One, one or two crazy parties in the last year, maybe. And, uh, well, like two, three, but that, that was it. And now this weekend was, was pretty intense. Um, I just want to get to know, like, you know, how it is. And now I really feel like I, I like my life the way it is. I like the more relaxed nature, cool people, like have good conversations. And uh, it was a really good learning experience. It was a successful trip. It was good to see friends again. So it was a really good trip. You're also happy with the outcome, even you didn't win the project. Yeah, I think. I mean, I I think I overall played well. I like. I was focused, given circumstances, made the best out of it. I'm happy. Anything you somewhat like regret? Hmm. What would you have done differently if you would have started all over again? Um, I think the one thing I would have done is uh, take more time for my friends, spend like a little more time with them. It was like a super packed 
week, just take more time generally. Like don't, you know, like I've been rushing from one thing to another. Um, and that's what I want to change from now on is just take more time for myself, take more time for other people that I care about. Alright, cool. It was a nice experience. <laughs> it was fun. It was, it was, you know, even though, like, I think I'm, like, in the beginning, I was like, oh, okay, I don't really know, like, I don't feel that well. And, but now, I don't know, I, I think I learned a lot from this trip. And uh, I know way better now where my place is, I think, where I want to be. And I'll, uh, I'll spend more time on that. So, without getting into detail, what's that place? Um, it's really, it's really where I feel happy is more the something that has depth, like real conversations with real people, um, nature as well, like t taking time to experience things in, on a non-superficial, like in a non-superficial way. Really, just like you can be honest, you can be open. This is the kind of surrounding I want to have, and this is what I want to build. So I. I feel like I have that in Vienna and, and uh, I want to keep traveling to like expand my horizon.